Just randomly disconnected again. It looks like we're back. Just randomly disconnected. I looked over and I had zero kbps. Yeah, if someone really is trying to fuck with the E-Gene 3's balance of power, that someone being Mabuchi, as you claim. There's no way the Komi Jewel don't know about it. Information is what they trade in. It's practically their currency. <sighs> He's right. E-Gene Cho's got lots of people willing to sell secrets. And if you follow each secret long enough, they all end up in Komi Jewel. Yeah, I don't know how they do it, but whatever their system, the info is always 100% accurate. <laughs> it's incredible, really. Doesn't seem real. I'm not saying you have to use the Komi Jewel to find evidence of your Mabuchi theory. If you got other ideas, fine. Just prove to me that Mabuchi killed your boss. I'll let the captain here live until you return. Hmm. By the way, don't even think about running. If so much as your pinky toe crosses the Ichincho border, the captain dies. And I still wouldn't be satisfied. So your friends and your family would be next. Wait, what the hell's with that? Don't argue, Sachan. These guys don't do logic or compassion. Honestly, I want an answer just as bad as you all do. If Mabuchi really has betrayed me, then my gang's gonna be split down the middle. Neither the Seiryu clan nor the Komi Jewel is gonna be thrilled about that. But that's why I need contingency plans. You see now? All the shit I gotta deal with. Man, I sure hope Mabuchi's innocent. But of course, then I'd have to kill you all. <laughs> Painfully. No complaints, I hope. <laughs> no need to be all giddy about it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go find proof that Mabuchi killed your soap landowner. Kasuga, I don't think we have a choice. I know. You're probably aware, but the Komi Jewel don't fuck around. So be careful. Finding the evidence won't do any good if you're dead. You almost sound like you care. Kasago, we really gotta get moving. And fast. Yeah, yeah, you're right. How did I know? Because I have two monitors watching the stream. My speed went to zero over here on the left, it shows me my bit rate, and I, over on my right, my computer had no connection. Or had no stream, I mean. Just go to the Gomi Jewel. They don't expect to let you go stroll up and have a chat. Quit your whining. It's not like we have any other choice. Yo. So we're just gonna walk up and ring the buzzer? That's gonna stop working at some point. Well, look who suddenly found some decency. There's literally no way to get in. That's not panic, man. We need their help, so that's where we're gonna that's where we're going. Besides, there's at least one person in Geo, in that, in Geo who might give us that time of day. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourselves. The anime guy. Right. The guy with the mask. He's from the Geo, right? That's what Adachi-san said, anyway. All I also said I couldn't be sure. <laughs> All I'm saying is it's not hopeless. But let's just give it a shot. The only other choice is not going, and I don't consider that a choice at all. About Yokohama Underground Dungeon, I heard through the grapevine you escaped from the Yokohama Lumang's underground prison. Truth is, the tunnels around there go by the name the Yokohama Underground Dungeon. The place is famous for harboring lots of rare Sujimon that you don't see much above ground. Rumor has it those Yokohama Lumang guys have cleared it out too, so the enemies you encounter should be different now. Tons of them are real tough cookies, so it's a perfect place to polish your skills or make some cash. The entrance is the same manhole you came out of when you escaped. I recommend you head inside and find yourself some rare Sujimon. 
Yokohama Underground Dungeon, huh? Could get some rare materials or weapons there. Then it rehearsed to get some more training in. Yokohama Underground Dungeon Unlocked. You can access it through the manhole you use to escape from the Yokohama Lumang. Exploring this dungeon will not only make you stronger, but you might even find rare materials and items. Huh. And where is that? I don't remember where that is. Yeah, I don't have the first clue where that where that was. Wait, is this it? Um well nonetheless, we probably unless we got we did get full healed, so um Almost five o'clock. Um, probably wouldn't be a bad time to take ourselves our food intermission, food break. So we'll figure out where to go when I come back. But for now, we're going to play some words on stream. So let me get that pulled up real quick. some music so we can listen to something other than the annoying words on stream music. Alright. There's that. And then we go... All right, I'll be back.
Pizza cannon loaded and ready to throw.
I'm back. If we assume that this is the underground, I guess I could go back here and try. See what happens. See what we get out that get see what we get out of it. to get um, Seiko to um, the 20. I can try out that uh, you know, unfortunately as, 
unfortunately, as sexually uh, charged as it is, uh, and much I don't care for that, um, the dominatrix, because apparently it might be pretty powerful, judging by the abilities and definition, or by the uh, the description of it, be pretty strong. And no, I don't want to select it just because it makes her almost naked. No. In fact, it... I, it I'm, I dislike it because of that reason, actually. I don't need to be constantly seeing nearly naked women when I'm playing games. I'm already single and lonely. I don't need to be a, I don't have a video game reminding me how single and lonely I am. I can't actually bang a real woman. Oh yeah, this is the, the spot. Because we came out from right here. Okay. Have fun with this. Fish all over the place. Maybe Avar's pet Nancy is one of them. Let's take a look. All right. The the crab side, the the crawfish side mission. Active search mode will be placed in you in first person view, where you will be able to move using left stick and look around using right. Put on those detective specs and find Nancy Chan. Where though? What's this? Hmm. No. Something about uh, there was a marking on its back. I remember the marking, but. Hmm. X-shaped scar on her back. Okay, that's right. So I'm looking for a crawfish with an X-shaped scar. Hmm. Is this? What's this? I don't think that's it. I'm hoping it's more obvious. What's this? have like a whole lot of options to choose from. Mm -hmm. What's this? I don't call that a scar. Hmm. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. That's more obvious. Mm -hmm. I'll take this one with you. Yeah. Hey, well, I wouldn't really plan on doing this side quest right now, but I guess I'm doing it right now. Right. Sit down. 
You're in it now. Want to fight? You're gonna be a war. It's still a dragon for spiders. What are you playing? It has dragons and spiders in it. Skyrim, okay. Yep, let's go. Oh, I actually did it wrong. Uh, yep, let's go. Do a little underground exploring. Difficulty four stars. How difficulty four stars is difficulty four stars? Level 20? Okay, that's not too bad. Here we go. You're in it now. Try this on the side. Don't get cocky. I mean, if she can take somebody down, it's yeah. probably not gonna be that hard. You're gonna get I got this. Have fun with this. I'm not backing down. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. You're weak. Take your best shot. Come on now. I'm not backing down. Let's go. Get serious. Going in. You're gonna get stoned. You're in it now. Weak. Now I'm pissed! The hell's your right. problem? Right. Get this out! Take your best shot! Someone's gonna pay! Hmm. Okay, go for it. Boom! Okay, go for it. Boosh, boosh, boom! Follow up! <laughs> yeah, tur turning two guys into, into Berserk wasn't really the greatest idea, was it? I'm up! Let's go! I'm not Follow up! Boosh! Next time. I'm not. Here we go. Okay. You're gonna get this done. Cool. You're gonna be in a war. Check this out. I didn't get to use the, the, the triangle move. <laughs> You're 
gonna be in a world. Okay. Have fun with this. Don't get this. cocky. I'm not happy. I'm up. Boosh. <laughs> kind of satisfying when he attacks. When Madachi attacks. She was afraid of a penis. Claw. Quality lumber. Quality number lumber is another nickname for my dick. Detergent or detergent or Namba? <laughs> what was that supposed to do? Clean us? <laughs> I'm not backing down. Going in. Oh, 24. This guy's real tougher. I just realized what level he was. Check this out. Let's go. Here we go. Check this out. Take your best shot. Yeah. Huh? Have fun with this. Nice. Learn the job skill clobber wheel. Alright. So what is clobber wheel? Damage a single enemy as well as any enemies around them by spinning around a handbag. Should I open it? Got it! Ah. 
Almost got her to 20. Beautiful claw. Hey, yes, very beautiful. Hmm, indeed, yes, yes. Should I open it? Sweet! Anti corrosion box cutter. Okay. I really hope that they like move a little more this way. Move a little more to the left. No, 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 your other left. Come on. Come on. You're gonna be in a world of hurts. I got this. Come on, go left. Go left. Get like over here. I would. I'd love to just like charge right through both of you. You're not gonna let me do that, are you? You're in it now. You're gonna get stomped. Fine, I'll just beat this guy. Here we go. Damn, 1100 experience. There we go. Now we should be able to change her uh, job to Night Queen. All right. How do I, how can I not, how do I? How do I, what do I, I gotta go to, Hello, work to, to to turn it on or something. Where is that going?
One hit man? Is anything like one punch man? Is that what this was to be? Turned around in here so easily. Good job, girl. Holy crap. <laughs> in the cock. I want to see what this thing, what this guy does. Actually, what does he do? Restores more HP or MP. Oh. Okay, whatever. Financially excellent. I didn't see that. The last one. Chicken. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see the last word. Got it. <sighs> really needed MP, not HP, but okay. What the. Oh no, everybody's asleep.
weak. You want to fight? I'm ready now. Yeah. You're going to be in a world of hurt. Here. I'm not backing down. Still made it. Another summon. <laughs> Jacks again. <laughs> you want sudden death or sudden crisis? It's service with a pounding. Thanks for calling pound mates. You're in it now. Ixo. Even a perfect guard still did 126 damage. Saw that coming. I think we need to use a uh, pick me up. Um, for shade kit. Oh, no, you're weak. 
Damn it. God damn it. Damn, they took so much damage off of it took so much damage they gave uh, took so much damage yeah this one I'm I'm pretty sure I'm out on oh wow Got lucky there I have eight HP. Have items. <laughs> Let's rock. I got this. What is that? Sick of it. Who else knows it? Make it count. Check this out. Yeah, I knew it. That, that, that fight is actually pretty tough. That, that fight's actually pretty tough. I lost all those levels. Oh, I did. Oh, that sucks. I say all those levels. I only really gained like one level. <sighs> oh, I actually can't get out of here. I actually have to go through here. Right. Let's go. Take your best shot. Try this on the side. Cool. Get alive. You want to fight? Come on. You're going to be in a world of hurt. <laughs> yeah. Take fun with this. Watch this. 
to preserve my MP a little bit longer. Weak. 
Check this out! I'm up! Going in! Buff guys that are kind of a problem. Take your best shot. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. I don't know about this. Come on. Oh yeah. It's going to be melee attacks with uh, Ichi for a while. Forgetting that I can't go into first person there. Should I open it? Got it! Da 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 da! Rugged cane. I already have one. Okay. My guys, what's up? Remain unfazed. I have no idea what that detergent is supposed to do. He's yet to do anything to me. But actually follows her. Got him. Chinese detoxers. 
Alrighty. Here we go. Try this on the side. This one. Okay. You're gonna get stomped. Take your best shot. You're in it now. Watch this. Don't get cocky. Come up! Let's go! Correct! Right. You want to fight? Got you follow up? Oh Mysterious mushroom. I really, really don't. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Don't get caught. Cool. I didn't realize this was it. I didn't realize this was this fight. Okay. I'm blocking you, he's caught. still doing a bunch of damage. We'll I'm trying to block him anyway. You're in it now. Try this on the side. Yeah. Gotta hold it together. I'm not done. Damn it. So damn difficult. Oh, 
Don't get cocky. Let's rock. Oh my god, that blocker still died. Uh, that fight is so difficult. I should hold back on my MP usage. God, sick is already down. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. You want to fight? Don't get caught. Let's go. Let's hope we don't suck like that anymore. That was bad. Right. I got this. Okay. You're gonna get pissed off. 
Watch this. Or have have fun with this. Yeah. Go. Cool. Get serious. You're gonna be oh, in a world shot. that but okay can't stay down here. <laughs> hey, we're not doing too bad. We're our our health and uh, MP is good. Let's just uh, try on. to use melee as much as we can or regular attack as much as we can. I, got this. I really want to save all my MP attacks for that big group. You're in it I'm not backing down. Watch yet. this. Have fun with this. items Right. 
out just this guy. Let's go. Let's go. Surprise! I got Still got a pretty decent MP pool. Jesus, 127 damage. It's not like the description skips around like a jackass. Cases. Should I open it? Got it. I replied I replied in kind. <laughs> Oh. 
Come up! I'm not backing down. Do something. Increases attack by five. Or by ten, actually. Okay. See if we can get some other things in here, like maybe healing up ten. I don't know about that one. No, I don't really have enough uh, uh, accessories for anything. He does a dance and then he gets hit over the head with a crowbar. <laughs> Fight after this one that gets me every time. You're in it now. Right. Yeah. These are them. Here we go.
Try this on the side. Cool. Earn this bitch. damage. So this is a, a, a HP heal for everybody. Come on now. No dying alone. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Let's rock. Thank you. Gotta do something about this. I'm not back. You ought to go going in. Go. Gotcha! I, do have, I am also under effect of a debuff. I'm struggling here. You're gonna get stomped. Let's go. Let's go. You're gonna be in a world. Finally got one kill. Five hundred and two. That would have died. Ah, I 
Guy stuns, so that's good. Come on now. Okay, now it's just the big guy left. No! Oh shit! The chance he can't the revive fails! No! Oh god, the chance the revive can fail! I should have just used a fucking first aid kit! Ah! Damn it! I get it. Yeah, I'm not ready for those sewers yet. I mean, I'm almost. I was almost there. Almost there. I was almost there. I mean, I, I probably is I lost like three of my characters by the time I got around to just fighting the Electrohead guy. I already saw this. Let's skip. Saw this too. Skip. <laughs> really too bad. Uh, there's a supposedly weapon shop right here? Oh yes, yeah, there's one weapon shop that won't sell me anything. Oh, now you will, because reasons? Alright, so that'll be a boost to his attack power. Boost his magic as well. That'll boost her attack, which she desperately needs.
All right, let's start with this. And uh, see if we can get any kind of armor while we're here. All right, let's get underway. I'm really disappointed I couldn't get through that uh, that dungeon, the Yokohama Underground. I was really close to like transitioning to the next zone, which I'm pretty sure would have been even harder, so I probably would have gotten by anyway if I wanted if I did get by the guy with the electric head. Here we go. Let's go! <laughs> His name's WrestleManiac. Have fun with this. Let's go. Weak. Let's go. Come here. No, man, no. You're gonna get stomped. Let's go. On the other yeah. Get serious. Check this out. Those follow ups. Here we go. This out. Take your back. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go. The enemy is defeated. Nice. Who's so itchy? Oh, another group, huh? Okay, come here. Give you some more experience. Black Hat Wizard Moon? I think it's Moon. Good night. Take a crowbar to the face. He died from burns. <laughs> yeah, that's hot as you think you are. Because you couldn't handle the heat. So you should have stayed out of the kitchen. How many other stupid cliches could I use all at the same time?
Adachi-san, are we already in Komijul territory? Yep, we're on Komijul turf now. Feels like we might get attacked any second, don't it? Don't say that. You're freaking me out. Hey, stop walking, guys. What? Um, who's that? <sighs> Sunglasses at night? Really? She's lucky she's hot. Yeah, with a body like that, who cares what she's wearing? <laughs> you guys oh do realize you'd just be wallets on legs to a woman like that. I mean, you know, beauty always has a price tag. Oh my god, dude. It's part of the appeal. Yeah, Seriously, that's why OnlyFans was that's created. Your logic? You know, I can hear all of you. She's a very unique model, too. The Comey Jewel? How should I know? Let's just go ask her. Wait, Kasuga! Hey, how's it going? My name's... <laughs> well, if it isn't Ichiban Kasuga and his merry band, good evening. You know who we are? <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. You're, you're gonna have to explain that one. Guys, come on! She won't bite! So, I'm guessing you're with the Comey Jewel. Yep. This pretty lady didn't knife you, so you just trust her? Relax. Uh, now, ma'am, I think you know why we're here. You want evidence that Lao Ma killed the Soakwind owner. Or so I presume. So well informed. But do you have any? Probably. Come with me. This is easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Don't worry. Nobody that beautiful could be evil. <laughs> you start thinking with the right head, you're gonna get us all killed. This way. Keep following me. Trust hey. me there, Adachi. That ain't true. Trust me on that one, Adachi. That ain't true. It's time for Commander Krim's Video Gaming Trivia. Type your answers in the chat. The correct response will be revealed in 30 seconds. Uh, funny thing. A while back, we actually, uh, got in a fight with a Komi Jewel fella. Oh? We were helping out some bar owners that you were, you know, stealing electricity from. But isn't that all settled by now? Uh, is it? Oh, if so, great. <laughs> I guess it's all okay then. <laughs> Don't be so nervous. Uh, <laughs> I'm not nervous. Why, do, do I seem nervous? No, you're fine. And besides, the jumpiness is a cute look on you. Well, you know, I, I, I do get that sometimes. <laughs> hey, let's all keep it in our pants, okay? <laughs> this is pretty deserted, isn't it? Why haven't we seen anyone? 
Kasuga, I've never been this far in. This is the heart of Komi Jewel territory. Yeah, I figured. Um. Should we turn back? Hey, what are you all whispering about? N nothing. We're just a chatty bunch, is all. Hmm. There's a little smoke. <laughs> if you feel uncomfortable, you can turn back. I won't stop you. After coming this far, I don't think so. And you know we won't, so don't patronize us. Point taken. Let's pick up the pace, shall we? Fine with me. Hey, is this what they call a cat fight? If they start hissing, we'll know. <laughs> if they start hissing, we'll know. Wow. All right. So this is Geek Geo. Maybe better make sure we're ready before we go in. Um, I mean, I think I've geared up as much as I can. Considering the money that I have or don't have. <laughs> That makes sense. But what's the point of so many power lines? If you want to know, come and see the top floor. Just a cockroach. Don't scare us like that. Oh, sorry. Oh, the thing looked like it was from the freaking Jurassic period. Hey, we got bigger problems than a roach. What? Like what? Like how that woman's gone? What? Ichiban, you dumbass. Why'd you take your eyes off her? You did it too. Everyone, shut up and look over there. I saw someone. This looks like a fighting room. Damn it. Another crossbow? Nice mask. Smiley. You bastards. All of a sudden, we're not welcome? What's up with the creepy masks? <laughs> now with the fists? And did you only have one crossbow bolt? All of you staying quiet? And I guess we'll talk it out the hard way. Bring it on. All right, here we go. Damn, resistance, he nearly killed she nearly killed him. You're gonna be in a world. Come on now. Get serious. Yeah. Have fun with this. Watch this. What the fuck? Right. Take your best shot. Try this on your side. 
Well, we can't see him. I mean, the the AI characters can see him, but I can't see him. Which probably means I can't target him. So I should probably take this opportunity to do a heal a little bit of healing. I'm not backing down. Here you go. Thanks, Joe. I'm up. Come on. Wonder if I could have used that attack to have, have like revealed him anyway, because yeah. it's a magic attack, or if it's like you know the ghosts from Final Fantasy VII, invisible, nothing hits them. Damn, that damn really, really, really made us relax our guard. Us? I thought it was she from the start. Yo, what's the plan, Kasuga? We're damned if we do, damned if we don't, and I prefer damned if we do. So let's do, let's keep going. Is that supposed to be inspiring? What's up? That woman said what we need is at the top, right? But there's not much point in turning around, is there? Nan was right. We have to get that info from Gio, no matter what. Yeah. And let's hurry. With all that commotion, there's bound to be more on the way. Nah, I think they're already here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I see. Let's take him out then, Kasuga. Round two. Damn, that one move took out three guys. Can I change her job now? Maybe the thing I couldn't. The reason I couldn't do it before is because we were in the. Uh, no, I still can't change it. Okay. Probably got to go to uh, Hello Work or whatever to change it. <laughs> Die from the burn. Here we go. Let's go. How do we get up there? Seriously, how do we get up there? How do I get those? I'm lost on that one. 
unless I can jump down. Oh, I can't. Okay. Hi, Archer. How you doing? Uh, oh, I can't go up further. Okay. I have to go this way. Raw platinum ore. Why did the camera pan over there? a dead end. There weren't any other passageways, were there? Huh. There should be a way up on the other side, but I only see that electrical wire to get us over. Hmm. Well, then let's cross it. Really? What? Are you serious? Well, we don't have time to go looking for another way or the guarantee that we'll even find one. This is the only way. <sighs> Should have gotten insurance. that for crossing over uh, I'm just happy to be alive I seriously thought I was dead you guys didn't look up my skirt did you what that's what you're concerned about wait how we jumped down You mentioned it, I'm getting pretty big murder vibes. Mm -hmm. Really? Maybe it's just your imagination. We're in enemy territory. It doesn't hurt to be cautious. Let's scout the area to be safe. There's no way they haven't seen something already. Yeah, no kidding. I can show you one of the outfits is basically her in a bikini anyway. What does it matter? Let's get the upper hand and find them okay. first. On it. Oh, what the hell? I have time here? There it is. Oh, well, I'm leaving. <laughs> Found Just it. hanging out, huh? There it is. I don't know how many I'm looking for. Oh. There. You gotta be adding more because there's no way there's no way I would have missed him when I saw that guy. There's no way I would have missed him. That's be like popping up after I like select some. I don't see it. I don't 
can't see it. I don't know how many more I need to find. Gotta find it fast. I, I don't see any more. Where the hell is it? I feel like there's got to be one, like, up there somewhere. Gotta find it fast. Where the hell is it? I don't see any more. Damn. Right. <clears throat> Damn. We're on the defensive. Everyone, watch out. Nobody left. Get serious. You're in it now. Here we go. Try this on the side. Yeah, I got this. I seriously have no idea where the last one could have been. There was the dude there. I'm good. There was the dude there. There was one hanging on the wire, one in that window, one in that window, the one on the edge there. There was nobody over here. I kept looking in the distance as well to see one over there. I didn't see one there. There was nobody on the fire escape. There was nothing in the in all that group up there. I don't know where the hell that last one, last ones, assuming it was more than one, could have been. Should I open it? Sweet! mechanics, something we haven't done yet in this game. Wow. 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 
All those Should goodies. I open it? Got it. Pirate hat. All right. Better on defense and magic. All right. So. Protector. Alright. The biggest uh, buffer. Um, oh, uh, yeah, that goes down. Okay. Um, stairs. Nothing. A bug flew into my ear. Kind of stupid thing. Go scare someone else. <sighs> Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm good. <laughs> Feel better. Should I open it? Got it. Bulletproof shield. What is that? Kindness, level up. Tolerant to considerate. I'm now considerate. I assume it's for... I wish you would actually show me, you know, some place that I could actually look at equipment, that even if it doesn't belong to that character. I can't look at the items that I have if I don't, uh, if I don't have that class unlocked. Or I, I'm not in that class, so I can't look at other weapons. I don't know what else, what else I have. Time. Hey, this is the heart of the Geo. Geo. They'll probably do all they can to hold the fort. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then let's go. Very good. Well done, everyone. 
Hey. Allow me to apologize. We're not usually so uncouth. The guy who freed us from Mabuchi's chains. You remember me. I'm honored. Hey, why bother saving us then just to attack us now? <laughs> I do apologize. The situation's a little complex. It's this guy's deal. I don't like him. Weren't you the one saying he was hot? Just because he's hot doesn't mean I like him. I'm okay. serving in a strategic <laughs> role for the Komijul. My name is Jungi Han. Jungi Han? You want to tell us why your men attacked us? I simply wanted to see how strong you are. Actually, I ordered them not to kill you no matter what happened in the fight. <laughs> and yet, I must admit you still had me worried for a second there. No way, man. We didn't even break a sweat. Look, my hair's still perfect. Does that make me strong enough for you? Yeah, for my men, yes. But for me... <laughs> why, I believe I could take all of you by myself. Say what? I happen to know why you're here, Kasuga. You're in quite the predicament. But there are things you don't yet grasp. If you like, I could explain things in greater detail. How about you spare us greater details and give us the short version? Very well. I'll focus on the part that's crucial for you to understand. Just give me a minute to figure out how to put it, so even an idiot can comprehend. If you think calling me names is gonna get a rise out of me, think again. I like my life as an idiot. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a rise out of you. I like idiots myself. Now, this way, please. Is he gonna take us seriously at some point? <laughs> Just let it go. He really pisses me off for a hot guy. It's always the sexy ones who piss you off the most. Yep, that's why I prefer to associate with you guys. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means exactly what you think it means. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> she gave you a backhand compliment of backhand compliments. I think the back of her hand still stings. <laughs> whoever passed through here, you should be grateful, or at least pretend to be. <sighs> That's a lot of TVs. Uh, I believe the go the the geo the go me jewel. Is a Korean, uh, a Korean clan or a Korean group? Yeah, just like the, the uh, Lu Mong is supposed to be Chinese. This is the heart of our business interests in Ijincho. Security cameras all over town. Footage shot by undercover Komijul agents. Here we see everything the cameras see. We have our own generators too, but they're not enough to power such an advanced system. So, that's why... You have to jack innocent people's electricity? <sighs> that's one way of putting it. But you must consider that we are recent arrivals in Ijincho. When we came, the Seriyu and Liu Mang were already at war over territory. The area we now call Komiju was the only scrap left to us. Still, we've managed to use it to produce a very in-demand commodity. Information which, it turns out, is also an excellent weapon. Too good for regular weapons, huh? We are quite small compared to the Seiryu clan and the Liumong. We'd be the first to go down if it came to a real war. So, to survive, we have come to act as the balance between the other two. It's a strategy that has served us well, so far. You balance them? How? To give you an example, if a man from the Liumong entered Seiryu clan territory, we'd know it immediately and report it to our Seiryu contacts. And it wouldn't end there. We'd investigate the trespasser and use his friends or family as further leverage. So you see, 
We extinguish the sparks of war before they become fires. Though we do prefer that sparks don't fly in the first place. So really, this standoff in Yokohama isn't among three equal organizations. It's two big powerful ones, and a little one mediating between them. Exactly right. The Liu Meng and the Seiryu clan should be thanking us. <laughs> but they've never sent so much as a thank you note. What if someone does start a fire on purpose? Would the Komi Jewel do anything about it? It's case by case, but many times that task would fall to us, yes. Sometimes all we have to do is apply a little pressure. But sometimes it calls for a heavier hand. It's all just business, of course. So what about Mabuchi? He managed to put out that spark yet? <laughs> He's still alive, if that's what you're asking. But take a look at the large monitor, if you would. Huh? This was recorded just moments before the death of Otohime Land's owner. You'll see both Lao Ma and his men. Well, hey. This looks like rock-solid proof to me. Hell yeah! This is exactly what we were looking for! What will the Gomu you want in be. return? Anyone who watches this, even Zhao, will have to accept that Mabuchi is at fault. Nice! But I can't hand this over to you just yet. There's something else I want you to see. What's that? You'll see what I mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this doesn't sound shady at all. Yo, can you lighten up, man? It's starting to rub off on me. <laughs> we're working with we're working with Mako. What is all this? Come, have a closer look. It's not going to bite. Ever pessimist, but when the shit goes down, right. they all they uh, all see that my point of view is impacted by the opportunity to things even worse. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah. Oh, these fakes are on a whole other level. I'm, I'm just sure. uh, I'm at they the point where it's like, like board you know, money. they say think positive. Side, so, well, I can I can only think so positive and be let these down. I'd rather be I'd rather think negative and be surprised when something good happens than think positively and be be depressed when the bad things happen. Just happy to see easier me. for me. I'm happy. A lot of people look down on me for that type of thinking, up. but you know, whatever. It would have been sooner, but I had preparations to make. Yeah, I bet your maker routine's no joke. Oh Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> You're funny. I like you. Ugh! Can you two stop flirting? <sighs> How about you tell us who you are already? I don't think the lady appreciates your tone. It's fine. Why don't you introduce me to them? <sighs> of course. Well, the leader is of the Gomoji is her. Everyone, allow me to present the leader of the Komijul, Songhui. Wait, you mean she's their leader? Komijul's boss is a woman? You remember all that paper in Mabuchi's warehouse? 
The plain white paper inside the shipping boxes. Uh, you mean the stuff for steaming food? Yeah, I remember that. It's not for food. It's made with a very special compound. The Liomang import it from the mainland. They're a Chinese import company. Makes sense. The Japanese yen we make here uses the same paper. What? W wait. Do you steal the paper from the Liomang warehouse and make yen with it? Steal us? We don't need to stoop to that. We arranged for it to be brought here. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? The Komi Jewel asked the Yokohama Liomang to procure the paper we needed. It's only stored temporarily in Mabuchi's warehouse. Then someone from the Liomang. You mean the warehouse that doesn't exist us. anymore? Because it got blown the fuck up? Because your plan to, to dispatch us was to ram an 18 wheeler into us, and then when it, when it wrecked, it uh, blew up? Zhao knows you use the paper? Of course. How would we keep it a secret from him? So, the paper in the warehouse gets made into fake yen, not yuan? But then, where does the yuan come from? That another part of your business? Or is that the Liu Meng's piece of the action? Nope. It's neither. What? You know, this whole thing was kind of a fluke. One day, one of Mabuchi's men stumbled across a box of strange paper in the warehouse. It just so happened, this particular guy was a former counterfeiter. A light bulb went off in his head, and he told Mabuchi they could use the paper to make fake yuan. Mabuchi gave it a try, and voila, huge profits. So it wasn't even Mabuchi's idea in the first place. <laughs> Far be it from me to criticize others in the trade. But Mabuchi's not as smart as he thinks he is. He just got lucky one of his peons had a good idea. Does Xiao know that Mabuchi is making Yuan? Have you told him? I did. The Zhao already knew. He's just pretending that he doesn't. After all, it's not like he can order his men to stop printing Yuan. They'd ask where the paper was going. Not even Zhao could talk his way out of that. And he's not about to do anything that might risk his very profitable fake Yen operation. So he's willing to look the other way when yes. it comes to Mabuchi's Yes, comment is in my lap. I'm not doing anything Yuan. weird. It's logical. I'd do the same. But does Mabuchi know the same paper is being used to make yen? No, what he takes to make yuan is breakage. But I'm okay with breakage if it keeps Mabuchi in the dark. The only thing I care about is the paper continues to be customized for yen. Customized? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, legal currency always has a specific recipe. For yen, the main ingredient is a plant called Mitsumata. But the other ingredients, the mixture ratio, the manufacturing method, those are all state secrets. Which makes it almost impossible to copy. How the hell are you pulling it off? We have a contact at the treasury who passed these secrets to us decades ago. Would that be the guy that's now the commissioner? Why haven't the police caught wind of this operation? <laughs> if you're surprised by police incompetence, you're younger than I thought. Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, trust me, I'm uh, older than I look. You know she's literally doing that on purpose, don't you? <laughs> the point is, almost nobody knows about these fake bills. So you better start explaining why you have one. Uh... Ichiban! Whoa! This bill is a misprint from our machine. It should have been destroyed. Tell me where you got this. Our surveillance network has been watching you ever since you arrived in the city. That's how we knew you had a fake bill. It's time for you to tell us the whole story behind it. In detail. That's why we brought you here. Look, I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. I don't know shit about that bill. You don't know anything? Not a damn thing. You know I won't hesitate to pull the trigger. I know it. You're a lady who does what needs to be done.
Probably. There, you know, I. In order for me to know anything about this stuff, I'm I would have to be a, a thief kind of person. I don't. I don't care. We've already reviewed every single frame of footage where you make an appearance. It does support your claim that you're clueless about the fake bill. It also showed you were bleeding out from a gunshot wound when you arrived. Is there anything you don't know? Yes, like why you're still here in Ijincho. You don't seem to have an actual goal or much of a purpose. Which I suppose makes sense, given the way you look and behave. Uh, kinda harsh there, don't you think? But the same can't be said about one of you. Isn't that right, Nanba? Hey, well, what's this about? You showed up in Ijincho six months ago. The whole time, you were watching our building from the homeless camp. We saw you. How long did it take you to notice? Not long. But what caught our attention is you never showed interest in your campmates. Until the fake bill. He only talked to me because the chief asked him to heal me up, and... But why did he come with you on this journey? Is it the classic nurse in love with a patient story? No. He doesn't have Florence Nightingale syndrome. He's after something. Duh. Oh, you shit. Knew the fake bill came from Number. Us. Don't move. She's not finished. You really need the ass shot? You really need the ass shot? Thanks, Gabe. Number just <sighs> Who does he work for? You need to start talking. Who are you? You number. Former nurse. 41 years old. That's not what I'm asking. I'm Shoichi Akiba's older brother. Alright? What? Shoichi Akiba? The journalist? Akiba was a pen name. His real name was Shoichi Namba. Hmm. It's all starting to make sense now. What is? What are you all talking about? About six months ago, a journalist heard rumors about our counterfeiting operation. That was Shoichi Akiba. He came here to Ijincho to investigate, but after just a few days, he disappeared. He disappeared? Don't play dumb! Hmm. Just before he went MIA, I got a message from him. He told me he was being watched by the Komijo. Now you tell me, where is my brother? I get it now. You think you're on some kind of rescue well, mission? This is definitely a huh? twist I wasn't expecting. I heard about Ichincho's Great Wall of Muscle. How it protected the town from outsiders. So I pretended I was a local. By disguising yourself as a bum and joining their camp. Thinking you'd keep tabs on us because we're close to the homeless camp. Yeah. But unfortunately, I never got any leads. Not until you showed up, Ichiban. It was back when I saw that weird bill on you that I knew. I knew right off the bat that it was one of the fakes my brother had been chasing before he disappeared. I finally had a clue. So from that moment on, there was no way I was going to let you out of my sight. So doesn't explain how he ended up with it, though. I figured you'd eventually tell me how you got it, and I'd get closer to finding. And I have a feeling it has something to do with Arakawa. Stupid part is. <laughs> Every time you open your mouth, it became more and more obvious you knew less about it than I did. Pretty crazy, right? How you go find the bill being a fake? Um, the back side is blank. Well, I figured out pretty it quick was a, you could the, tell the, alive you uh, to. Unlike the rest of the bills, there's actually Since like no a front sure and a back to it. The, the, the one he has is... Uh, only got the front side. Playing, That's why she said it was a defect, anyway. a defect from her, even uh, from her manufacturing facility because it wasn't printed on both sides. 
I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Namba. I didn't want it to happen this way. I'm sorry, Ichiban. I'm sorry, everyone. Nanchan. You bastards. What did you do to my brother? Did you kill him? At least tell me if he's still alive. Please. You owe me that much. That's all I'm asking. Then you can do whatever you want with me. But let Ichiban and the others go. I'm willing to die. But you know they aren't involved. Spare them. Please. That takes care of our little rat problem. Hopefully, he'll set a good example. The rest of you have the good fortune of being our guests. Hmm. Sounds like Zhao has taken a liking to you. Yeah, I saw the name Happy on the bottom, so I'm like, really? Yo, just a second. Where do you think you're taking him? You can't just take away my friend. Friend? Didn't you hear a word he just said? He's been lying to you because he thought it would get him closer to us. You call that a friend? I can think of a few better words to describe him. Yeah, good point. Friend isn't exactly the right word for Namba anymore. It's different now. So it's sinking in? The thing is... The only reason I say that is because friend doesn't even begin to describe him. What do you mean? He took care of me when I got dumped here. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have survived the night. I owe my life to Namba, and that's a debt I can never repay him for. That guy back there is more than a friend. The only thing I would call him now is a brother! That's why I can totally understand why Namba went as far as he did to find his brother. Nothing about his reasons for lying to us about his real goal was out of self-interest. He did it for his family. So don't you dare. Don't you dare drag him through the mud and pretend like you're any better! <sighs> You didn't forget I was here. Hey, weren't you the one saying you could stop us all by yourself? Shut up! What are you doing? Get us some backup! Time to call your bluff. I'm taking you out! Boss time! Against that guy. <laughs> right. So what, I get only these three? No, I'm just still at the, out of the battle. Damn, two and three million damage. I'm not that again. 480 damage. Try this. Let's go. That's true, he is tased. I mean, he had enough energy to lift his head, but it doesn't really mean anything, I suppose. You're in it now. Let's go. Gotcha. You're gonna be in the At the very least, it'll take half an hour to recover muscle control. Here we go. Try this on the side. I'm up. You're gonna get stomped. Right. 
Damn! <laughs> she hit me in the back of the head too. Let's go. Let's go. Take your get after you. I got this. I am not happy. All clear. Take this. Right. Physical ailments. Purely poison is considered physical, right? As opposed to fear, which is mental? Okay. We'll fight to the end. Oh, yeah? Try this on the side. She's just standing there in the background, by the way. The hot chick. Actually, wasn't that hard to fight? Twenty thousand gil, uh, twenty thousand gil. Yes, twenty thousand gil. Is what I got. Nice. Nice. Ichiban, get up. There's more of them coming. Come on, you can do it. All right, jeez, I'm up. That was a quick half hour. <laughs> You're going down. But he still can't fight. Okay, that's fine. Now you've done it, Ichiban Kasuga. And here I thought you were just a cute idiot. Here I thought you were just a tough babe. 
Too bad you're actually a gullible dumbass. Too nosy for his own good. Well, too bad you're actually a wacko psycho chick. <laughs> That's almost charming coming from you. What a shame that you need to die. Uh, backhanded compliments are getting old. Just get the hell out of our way before we beat your sorry ass. Don't let them leave here alive! Take them out! I still yet to fight a female character. All the enemies we fought have been males. Strong enough to run? Uh, yeah, we can manage. Good. Get out of here while you can. We'll hold them off. No, I've no time to argue. Go! Well, what about you guys? We'll figure something out. But if you don't make it, who's gonna find your brother? Aren't you? Aren't you mad at me for not telling you about him? I owe you my life, man. Don't you realize? If you'd been honest from the start, I would have helped you anyhow. And we'd have ended up exactly where we are now. Holes deep in trouble. So we're cool. Ichiban. Thank you. But I can't just leave you all here. That's what a okay. touching moment. I'm balls deep in this too. Do we start talking about being balls deep with, a, with two hot chicks in the room? Well... I share the sentiment. <laughs> I'm all, well, okay. Sasha, son. Sasha, <laughs> I share the sentiment. Sure about this. <laughs> Shut up. Get going already. All right. They just hey, let him run by her. No more playing chase. How about actually fighting us, Songhui san? Or are you scared? Oh, you little. Hey, calm down. Getting mad will give you stress wrinkles. Yeah, isn't smooth skin a big thing for chicks like you? All your flirting with the guys will be for nothing if you get all angry now. <laughs> oh, you bunch of punks! You need to watch your fucking mouths! So we're actually going to be fighting our first female character. Or, or are we? No, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> they just refuse to let us beat up on a woman. Seems I've underestimated you, Ichiban Kasuga. <sighs> then, how about we call it a day, if you don't mind? That depends on what he says. Huh? You got Zao's here, or Zan, or whatever? <sighs> oh, um. Fine. You still He's talking to Zan or whoever, or whatever his name is. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, ma'am. But Namba managed to slip away. Shit. <laughs> Good job, Namba. Quiet. You don't understand what you've done. Sure I do. We saved our friend from getting murdered. What's it to you? If he leaks the secrets of our operation, we'll lose any control we had, and Ijincho will crumble. Crumble? But don't you think you're being a bit dramatic? And if the fake money dries up, wouldn't that cut down on crime? None of you understand. I'm telling you, the city would grind to a halt. We can't allow that to happen. Does that mean you're not giving up on snaring Namba, then? Of course not. Until he scales the Great Wall, he's fair game. The Comey Jewel will use every resource at its disposal to find him. Say you actually find him. Then what? We kill him, obviously. You're set on that? <laughs> of course. <sighs> well, I guess we're doing this. Doing what? My pals and I will help Namba escape, since you insist on murdering him. I guess we'll just see which side gives up first. This will be exciting. <sighs> You're not funny. I'm not trying to be. I'm serious. Haven't you figured out what kind of guy I am yet? <sighs> yeah, a pain in the ass. Don't be like that. I know you're head over heels for me, so can't you just let Namba go? He's not gonna go around spreading your secret. Well, it's not just my secret, so I can't make the decision by myself. But you're the leader of the Komi Jewel. If you just give the word... Kasuga. What? 2 a.m. tonight, Heian Tower in Chinatown. Be there. There's a man I'd like you to meet. Whether Namba lives or dies will be up to him. Who is he? Don't be late. What's gonna go down at Heian Tower? Your guess is as good as There's mine. There's so here. many things that come to Where mind. So I think it'd be a character. We, it's possibly could be a character we haven't met yet. Actually, obviously. But I'm thinking it could be. Well, we got the time. What's it could that? be his brother, which I doubt. Six months. Nanba pretended to be a bump so he could watch. It could the be uh, Nanba's said, brother, which I yeah. still kind of doubt. Song Hui mentioned it. He must have had a lot of stuff at the homeless camp to live there so long. It's probably still there. I want to check at least. There might be a clue that would tell us where he'd go if he had to hide. You know. Not a bad idea. But... Can't take Psycho to a smelly hobo camp. Dude, I'm going too. Don't even think about pulling that card. So brother's story could also be a lie? Well, the only reason I don't think so is because... The, he, he specifically mentioned that the brother was a journalist, and even the purple-haired chick mentioned that there was a journalist that had been sniffing around. Uh, trying to uncover the secrets behind the the Geo Geo Majudals Geo guys uh, uh, counterfeit uh, thing, so I think that's a real thing. Let's go. I need healing. Where's the nearest uh, food? Behind me. You call that a drink? Give me a double shot this time. Sir, haven't you had enough? I think you should call it a day. I was coming here to get food. I wasn't expecting to have a cutscene. Job to give people their drinks. You're being unreasonable, sir. I'm only concerned for your health. You should at least have a sip of water. So you're cutting me off? Way to make a man feel unwanted. Sir, can you please calm down? You're causing a scene right now. Yo, mind if I step in? Huh? Buddy, just take the water and chill. You'll feel a lot better. You know what? You all are a bunch of buzzkills. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Well, he's that drunk and have a hard time walking out the door. What the heck was his deal? He's not a regular, is he? 
He sort of is. It was actually Il Yu Jin, a former Korean megastar. You didn't recognize him? Nah, unfortunately I can't begin to keep up with that stuff. Pretty crazy to run into somebody famous here of all places though. That's a first for me. Well, he's retired from the industry now. Got caught up in a scandal. He always had such a clean image too. I guess fame changes people. Today wasn't even the worst. The time the passenger journal disappeared. Yeah, he's not causing trouble somewhere else. He just wants to know where they are, where where his brother is, like if he's been killed or whatever. I just came in here to get some food. I wasn't expecting to get a side quest. Eat us, stay. I was 67 grand. He's hungry. Me. <sighs> Okay. Um I think Okay, she's at she's at level two and looks like she's maxed out. So yeah, I need to go talk to her at the survive bar. So I need to go find the survive bar. That I also want to go by uh, Happy uh, Happy Work or whatever it's called, uh, Hello Work, and uh, see if I can change her class to the the Dominatrix one. See if it's actually a pretty good damage dealing one. Uh, where is I can never remember where it is. That, that's not that's Hello Work. That's not what I want. Um, No. 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 Oh my god. Location list. Oh, it bothered me that he was willing to die, but very hasty to stop the conversation and not to continue to talk like he ran out of a light of believable detail to spill. Hasty stop what conversation? Like which which part? So you're saying you have more suspicion of uh, Nanba than he's been letting on? But more than we already saw? Well, God damn it. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks for letting me know. To guess she's on the phone. Yeah, judging by the thing she's holding next to her head, I'm What's guessing up, she's on the phone. Looking kind of down there. Oh, Ichiban. Something happened on the phone? Just uh, more Nanoha drama. I'm starting to get all too clear a picture of that jerk she's dating. Oh yeah, Katsuragawa, right? The consulting guy, or whatever. The girls from the club looked into him. They saw him with Nanoha on a date. Look at this picture they took. And that's Nanoha and Katsuragawa? Yeah. Doesn't he look shady as hell? What is she thinking? Hey, I get what you're saying. But you can't judge someone just from the way they look. Okay, take a look at this picture then. See the guy in the background with the sunglasses? His name's Yamashita, and he's like the bodyguard in Katsuragawa's creepy little posse. Bringing a bodyguard on a date? Yeah, that's definitely out of the ordinary. You think? And to make matters worse, the girls told me the conversation he had with Nanoha. It was 100% bad news. I'm sure Katsuragawa has it in for her. What do you mean? What did you girls hear? 
Katsuragawa's consulting firm isn't doing so hot right now, so he wants to borrow money from Nanoha. But how much? Two million. He decided a date was a good time to ask for a huge loan? <laughs> I think even I've got more game than this guy. But anyway, Nanoha said no, right? I mean, she needs that money to support her dad. Actually, when my dad switched facilities, Nanoha found out she had a little more spending money. Apparently, she's already lent him 500,000, and now he's asking for 2 million more! Seriously? Good. Even if Nanoa has that much to spare, she should be saving it for her future. And Katsuragawa knows that. But somehow, he found out Nanoha used to work at Otohime Land. He did? So he asked her to go back and start making bank again. What? And this is the guy who didn't even bother to help her when she was in trouble. In fact, I think he basically stopped calling her right after Dad started to need round-the-clock care. But now that that's dealt with, and Katsuragawa knows about Nanoha's stint at the Soapland, he's trying to schmooze his way back in. I mean, Nanoha's not an idiot. She can always just change the subject whenever he asks for money, can't she? Don't you remember she's in love she with him. to go out with him way back when I first said no? She was head over heels for him back then. I don't know how she feels now, but... It sounded like she held off on saying yes or no, but I'm afraid she might actually go back to the Soapland. You think so? Damn, this guy's a piece of work. If he really does roll with a biker gang, it must be as the shit stuck on their tires. What other kind of guy would be pushing his girlfriend to work at a Soapland? To cover for his failures! So you're having the exact same thoughts as me. Nice to know I'm not crazy. Crazy? Sajan. Even if he wasn't such a bastard, Nanoha could still do better. We gotta get him away from her, before she gets scammed and hung out to dry. But Nanoha never listens to me. She's not about to start now. <sighs> How long has it been since you tried convincing her to break up with Katsuragawa? Seven, eight years, right? Yep, and it sparked the huge fight. What exactly did you say to her back then? I don't actually remember too well. It got heated so fast. Well, what if that was the problem? What? When you use strong emotions to try and persuade someone, they just give you strong emotions right back. What if this time you kept it cool and gave her a few good logical reasons to dump Katsuragawa? Act like you're neutral about it, you know? You're right. If I get myself or her all worked up, it'll only make it harder for her to think clearly. That's great advice. Thank you. I'll lay it all out calmly this time. Great. Do that, and don't give up. Sorry to make you listen to all my family drama, Ichiban. It's no problem. I care about Nanoha, too. She's my ex-co-worker, after all. Still, thanks. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work out. Yeah. No way is this over. Wonder what'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I'm just as nosy as Sachan. <laughs> Even he's self-aware. <laughs> he knows this shit ain't over. <laughs> All right. Now, I want to see if I can change your class. <laughs> level 10, yeah, I'm still dealing with level 10 guys. All right. Bonk, boosh. Bonk, bonk, boosh. Call me Chauvin, the women in love and logic don't meet. The same can be said for any person, regardless of gender. Trust me, I can speak from experience on that.
one wouldn't use, wouldn't call uh, moving 700 miles for a woman uh, logical. Bronze plate. I like how they took a game mechanic and made it part of the uh, part of the story in the way that you know you started when you started this game you're a uh, uh, you're a homeless bum. So the only way to make money is to like just dig for money underneath uh, like vending machines and trash cans and stuff. And now it's actually part of the gameplay for you to be able to just go around and, and gather money that way too. So it's, it's interesting how they, they did a good job of including that with the, the gameplay. Can I help you? Change jobs. Uh, psycho to this. Wait, I can select different outfits? Oh, fuck me. Rather amused that I still do what? Uh, this one, it's eh, it's it's not that it's it's getting to a point where the income is really good, but the stuff that you're buying is like really increasing in expense. Like even a, the the cheapest weapon to get that is better than what I've currently got. Still costs like a hundred thousand, and so getting a hundred thousand is, you know, quite difficult to do. I think just so I don't have a constant boner, I'm gonna put her in something like this. I guess this would be the most combat worthy thing I mean there's these are very combat worthy if you know what I mean congratulations I'll be rooting for you Actually, you know let me check the other classes too can I help you The, well, he's already not in the force. He's already, uh, he was fired from the uh, police force. I think they said like three days before he was supposed to retire or something like that. So he's officially not a, a, a detective. And what you're doing here at this point when you're changing jobs, you're literally just changing it, changing the, the classes. I'm trying to decide what I want to put him in though, if I want to get, if I want to try something. I mean, I like his abilities already as the detective. I'm trying to decide if. One of these others is good. So that would make him a little bit more of a tank. Yeah, I'll give that a try, I guess. with the Night Queen costume? Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> hmm. You're doing 
great. I like his abilities too much in the hero class to change him away from that. That's just too good. I'll be rooting for you. All right. So now that I've changed that, really, the enemy brainwashed. Damage everybody dropping your leg on their neck. It might feel good at first, but this attack may knock them out. Okay, so these are these are these are inherent abilities. These are current uh, class skills. Okay. okay. So that's a class. That's a yeah. That's not a class skill. That's an inherent. Damage enemy with a powerful shield strike may leave the enemy enraged. Put up a shield that reduces the damage an ally receives. However, your own defense is greatly reduced. Hmm. We'll see. I was I like his detective class, so we'll see about that. I mean, just about the time I was... Uh, the only reason I wanted to change uh, Se uh, Seiko's class is because her physical attacks haven't really been that good, but she's actually starting to get strong. She's actually doing a lot of damage with her physical attacks now. She's still not... She's still not uh, Ichi good, but uh, she's getting better, and I'm kind of, and I'm, I'm hoping that maybe changing this will make her a little more, you know, offensively potent. Oh, hey, Virtual Fighter Two still here. There's no place to bring a proper lady, you know. Chief? What happened to Nanba, Ichiban? Excuse me. Well, he got himself into some trouble, so we'd like to take a look at his stuff. You're just going to dig through your friend's stuff without his permission? It's our only hope of saving him. Don't get us wrong. <laughs> I see. I won't stop you then. We'll leave as soon as we're done. Man, kind of nostalgic coming back here. Not really. Here it is. Mm. Ugh, what is that smell? A combination of sweat and mold? Okay. Yeah, it reeks in here. See anything that might help us find what the, where he is? Hey. Hey, what about in here? A laptop? Not exactly a common homeless commodity. <laughs> I'd say that's right on the money. Really? How do you use this thing? What are you typing? Nobody's typing anything. I'm doing some searches that'll comb through the whole hard drive. Amazing that it still has power. I'm sure it hasn't been plugged in mm -hmm. in God knows how long. Searches? Yeah, if the search gets a hit, we'll check out the file. Mm. Uh, hit? Hey. Just shut up and watch, would you? I'm not much of a computer guy myself. Let's hear. Let's let her let her handle this one. The so, Chan, you know computers and stuff. Well, I did my club's book, so I learned enough. Am I finally earning some respect around here? Absolutely. These be our sage in this faded hour. Hmm? Hmm? This one's suspicious. Injicho incident. Draft version 2. Yeah, let's see what the, what's in that one. Hey, you know how to use computers, too? Well, I clearly know more than you. <sighs> Traitor. Was this an article here for he was writing for a magazine? It says it was written by Shoichi Makiba. Hmm? 
So each Yakiba, that's Dama's brother. Yeah, uh, mysterious fake money emerges in Jincho, in Jincho. The truth behind the rumors. Where are their counterfeit bills? The truth behind the rumors. My, uh, Yo. Check it out. It says the rumors about the fake money started over 50 years ago. He really did his homework on all these old documents. Hanbo's brother is pretty good. Hey, yeah. Hey, is this true? It says the fake money can be traced to the chair of the Citizens Liberal Party. That would be Oki Q. Oh, God. He is the top of the political party. Well, Yokohama is his district, but it doesn't seem likely that it would go all the way up to him. CLP party chair Yutaga Oki... Uh, that guy. Counterfeit money ended up in party veterans' pocket. Yutaka... Oh, fucking hell. What's his deal? Okay. He's almost 80 years old, making him the oldest member of the CLP. This might be the first community chair. It's possible. It could be. Though people say the Prime Minister himself is just his yes man. He's got major, major political clout. <laughs> Can't say all that for some reason. Major political clout. He's like some kind of fixer. Mm. Sounds shady as hell to me. Actually, he's never been dragged into anything scandalous over his years, unlike most of the big politicians. That's probably how he stuck around so long, to be honest. But theoretically, if the fake money is going to him, does that mean he's limited to the, he's linked to the Geo and the purple-haired Harpy? The Harpy. Mm. But in that case, it wouldn't just be the Geo. Zhao from the Liu Meng would have been on in on it. He's the one providing the paper, right? He's skimming this article. I don't think there's much of a smoking gun in here. So all this business about him being involved is just an unsubstantiated rumor. Okay. True. Even if the article went out, it'd just be libellous. And people would probably write it off as being gossip or tabloid nonsense. But as for us, we actually know that fake money exists. Right? Which means we have to assume there's some kernels of truth in this article. But even with that being said, isn't it kind of a stretch to connect him to the counterfeiting? I see. Hmm. Something just made sense. What did? Nanba knew about his brother's article from the start of this whole thing. So when he saw the misprinted fake bill that I had on me, he played dumb. But it must have made him jumpy. No doubt. That's probably when he realized his brother's story had some truth to it, after all. And it was also probably his first sign of hope in a long time. It's gotta be why he latched onto me like he did. Damn. Damn it. Wish I would've noticed sooner. You didn't do anything wrong. So, the Geo boss still has your bill? Yeah. I'll have to get it back from her next time we meet. You think she'll just hand it back to you? Let's focus, guys. The only thing we've learned here is Okibo... Jesus Christ, I can't. <sighs> There's nothing here that would give us any hints about where Nanba went. We're meeting up with her at 2 a.m., right? Yep. Yeah. We should probably start heading to Hainan Tower. Think the person she wants us to meet is him himself? Politician? No way. What is clout? Uh, reputation? Um, uh, what's another word I could think of? Um, pull? Influence. I, pff, I'm having so many difficult times with the names in this game. I can't even pronounce the, the Geo one right. I keep wanting to say Geo Muji, and it's not right. I can't. I can't. I can, every time I read it, I read it wrong, even though they're literally saying it to me. You pick up the damn thing. Oh no, the clan crest. I still think there's some connection between the uh, the bill that was handed to us, that was, that was found on us when we got shot, and Arakawa. I think Arakawa put that bill on us before he had our, our body dumped. It's going to lead back to Arakawa in some way. Did you read it in symbols? Ogikubo? I mean, that'll work now, but I'm not going to be able to read it later. You know what? Um, is there an enemy? Is there some enemies around here somewhere? I want to take. Uh, hmm? Hmm? Oh, there's some right there. I want to take uh, uh, Seiko into a fight. See how this new. Uh, 
Let's do class right. works. Let's go. Heal stomp. Alright. Try this on your side. Damn, 67 damage. Granted, these are only level 12, but still. I'm not backing down. Holy hell! He resisted that and we got 173 on a crit. Damn! Alright, that was good. I didn't see how much damage it delivered. Huh? Something to see how much damage it delivered. What are you doing, Psycho? Why are you hiking your leg? Are you trying to make him look up your skirt? Are you bitching us for it earlier? Yeah, he, he did, yeah, the gym rat does that. And he uses him as a weapon. Did he just miss? Got charmed? Well, that's so fast. Let's go. He resisted and still did 138 damage. Hello, my friends. I'm up. Going in. All right, I think I'm okay with these new, with these new classes. Again, probably not a really good test Look considering they're like 10 levels below me. <laughs> Hopefully these uh, jobs will rank up quickly considering they're, uh, they're behind. Like the, the changing of the swapping of classes will still build themselves up quicker. Where is the, uh, have we passed the weapon shop? Romance workshop, that's it. Uh, yeah, I need to take a right here. They're not looking less than 15 kilograms each? I have no idea. So there's a ch so if I'm reading if I'm understanding this right, this attack could be a one shot. This is this could be an insta kill attack. If I'm understanding this right. Double attack. The enemy is defeated. Nice. Yes. Yeah, they're ranking up almost every battle. I didn't pass my turn, did I? No, I'm going my way. Bacani. 
してんのか何俺のことなめんなよ Here we go! Let's 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 go! Dude, he was already dead anyway. He was dead before the uh, second swing, the second attack. Nail bat for plus five. Wow, thundercrack plus sixteen. I'm missing five. I don't have five scorpions though. Also, don't have five seventeen super X's. Whatever the hell those are. I can make one of these. No, I can't. I don't have the money. Shit. I can make two of these. Supposedly there's some place around here you can sell your, your you can sell some of your your trash items like you can get there's some trash loot that you can pick up you're supposed to be able to sell that somewhere I haven't been able to find it. me 
The car didn't fucking touch me. Why did I take damage from that? Right. I got this. By this on your side. Job skill shield blast. <laughs> Whip surface, of course. Damage a single enemy as well as the enemies around them by releasing a shockwave of sheer bravado. Medium power. Alright. Medium power. Damage the enemy with remorseless whip strikes that may leave them brainwashed. Alright. It's, it's getting stronger. I, I'm I'm almost starting to regret making the change, but if there's a lot more multi-target abilities, that was the one thing I'm starting to like about uh, their their abilities is multi-hit. Take your best shot. I'm not back. You're not now. Oh. Gotta do something about this. Let's go. Let's go. Can you enjoy the job? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Yeah, judging by what your your class is right now, you're probably enjoying giving them that hurt. They grab their ass. Look like, out, my ass! You're gonna get stomped. Ah, so brainwashing is confusion, basically. All right. She just curb stomps them. Try 
I'm still reserving my judgment on her, on uh, on Seiko. I think I'm liking uh, uh, Adachi's new class. I'm still reserving judgment on uh, Seiko's. I want to see some more multi-targeted hits, though. Multi-targeted attacks. She doesn't have any multi-targets yet. How do I get into this place? Uh, excuse me. Huh? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Oh shit, it's English. Is he breaking the fourth wall there? <laughs> Don't worry. What? That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Huh? Ugh. Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right! Go, go, go! Go your way! And believe in yourself! I, I get what's happening right. here. We're like, Thank we're you. we're using the you universal translator. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Guess that English certificate. We're, we're using the Universal Translator. They're speaking so, Japanese to each other. Sucks ass. <laughs> well, so if you can't we are English, hearing it in English because we're 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 playing, in we're playing it in English. We're playing it in English. So we're using the Universal Translator. <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas? No. In your horizons. To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Mm -mm. I do not. I do not want to learn other languages. Oh, this is a school. Oh, una barra vocational, huh? Yep, been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Fifty. Fifty? For real? That's crazy. I have like none. You gotta change that, man. Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable skills, I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know. Hey, would would you be able to help a Japanese tourist find that one? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, for a I mean, time only. I mean, if he try, if the Japanese tourist tried to speak English, I would give, my, I would try my best, but I wouldn't be able to speak to Japanese. Your personality, don't you? Well, when you put it that way, sure. I would need uh, Bimo for that because she she knows more about it than I do. Uh, okay. What does this have to do with what I was doing? Vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Really, the front desk is in the front? Holy shit! I never would have realized that. Oh, oh my god, I can't I believe thought. it. Yeah. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but. <laughs> yeah. Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right. He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. And, of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> so that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. Oh, wow. Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. 
Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. <laughs> wow. This so school makes you yell at tourists, and I very much doubt the education quality. <laughs> very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san, noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time. So don't go spacing out. Dude, we get it. You've got a crush. Shut up. So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. Just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onibara, knowledge is yours to own. Got me. Oh, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Dude, shut the hell up. Can you just be quiet? Anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. This wasn't what I was trying to do. Not by any means. Hey, Kasugakun. I thought you were going to do your free lesson. Why are you leaving? Fuck me in the butt. Is this actually what I have to do right now? Is this actually the main quest? No, I need to meet Song Hui in the, in the high end tower. Is this the high end tower? I don't think it is. I can't go to like the, the bigger map. I guess I can't. Alright, here we go. Let's learn Ingaverse. Are you ready to start your trial lesson? Is that unless you in a cult? <laughs> yeah, let's do Probably. this. Perfect. Right this way. This facility is all about developing one's personality. Passing exams will improve different facets of Kasuga's personality. After the free trial exam, you have to pay for the exam fee. Which exam would you like to take? Oh no. This will certify you have sufficient knowledge of sports and its history throughout human civilization. I mean, I'm pretty good at knowing sports, but if you ask me anything about basketball, I might as well kiss the... I'm, I'm gonna... No. Golf is played on a course in which golfers go to hit the ball into a hole as few strokes as possible. Each course has a preset stroke count that the golfer expects to be in each hole, each in the hole, and the exact number of preset strokes called par. While doing so, one stroke below par is called a birdie. What's the term for a hole that is three strokes below par? Um, three strokes is, let's see, birdie, eagle, I think it's albatross. What is the name of the track and field event which is athletes push a metal bar as far into the, into the air they can and keep a distance thrown? That is shot put. What is the name of the racing technique in which a vehicle rounds a curve by skidding the tires? Same tires result, that's drifting. Skiing is a sport in which a skier slides down a snowy slope on a pair of skis. Aside from the components that secure a skier's feet to the skis, skiers typically use a pair of tools to keep themselves stable. What are these called? Oh, shit. I actually call poles. I feel that's too simple. Baseball is a team sport in which competing teams pitch between offensive teams. The pitcher on defense is goal. Throw the ball in such a way the batter on the offense strikes out. This is known as a breaking ball, which is the following is not a type of breaking ball. Volley. Okay. 
I got them all right. Nice. Three strokes below par is called an albatross, while two strokes below is known as an eagle. The rare occasion that a hole is completed four strokes below par is called a condor. I didn't know about that. Where did the shot thrown difference depending on the event? Yeah. Through, though drifting allows for quick turns, some circuits prohibit it due to both the potential damage it can cause to the car and a racetrack, and the risk of risk to the driver, residents of the driver and the racers. Ski poles aid the skier not only in keeping stable, but also in changing direction when skiing and sliding down a slow, slow slope. Change up to the slow balls aim to trick the batter into striking out with their deceptive speed. A curve ball, as the name implies, when the ball is thrown at a curved trajectory. Okay, what threw me off was the third one, called slow ball. I don't believe there's actually a pitch called slow ball. It's called a change up. At least in the United States it is. They don't call it a slow ball, they call it a change up. There's no such thing as a volley. Definitely no such thing as a volley. That would make no sense in a game where you only throw once. That should just about wrap it up. Thanks for trying us out. Whew. Not bad for your first time, but long and treacherous is the road to mastery. Just ask this guy. I don't really want to ask you anything. Up, does he? What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. That's right, you don't, three, you don't throw three balls at once. <laughs> I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. That said, would you be interested in full enrollment? No. It's free to enroll, of course. No. You only have to pay per class. No. Basically, it's a certificate fee. No. So what have you got to lose? No. Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi son. I know. Shut I know. up. Okay. Keep the penis point. in the pants, I'm man. I'm curious which aspects of myself could use some fine tuning. Might as well find out, right? That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know. Cool. This sort of case is never really passing you to the mock exam for free as many times as you like. Please let me know when you found a course that interests you. Sure. Once I figure out where to start. Gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> <laughs> then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. You. Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari-san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old shrub head to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. I don't even know how big his dick is. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? Counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi san? I'm smart and I look after my fellow man. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga san, welcome to the start of your future. <laughs> Vocational school specialized in improving personality. By passing the exams and obtaining licenses, Kasuga can consistently prove its personality parameters. You will be required to pay an exam fee for each license exam. Speak to the receptionist at Onabar Vocational School if you wish to take license exams. Talk about stumbling into side quests. Fighting Liu Kang again. She got a lot of MP. I'm not that damn. Right. You're in it now. Take your Try best this on shot. Your oh, you, want. Yeah, you deserve a little reward. Is it a man? Fine, huh? Oh, it's a lie. Yes.
That sucked. That really sucked. Like bad sucked. Terribly sucked. Hey, look, we're in uh, we're in Wu Tai now. Look at the pagoda. Pretty fancy spot. Think they'll treat us to a meal? Mm -hmm. If that was the case, you wouldn't even pass the dress code. Huh? Why? Besides, it says right on the door. No yakuza or ex yakuza allowed. For real? Seriously? It was a joke, dummy. But we're not here to eat, regardless. Don't tease. I've never got to come to these kind of places. Listen. What about me? What about me, though? Would my clothes pass? Eh, I'd say you're in the same boat as Ichiban. I knew I should have changed. Hey. As I was saying, we're not here to eat. <laughs> eh, guess not. Shall we, then? As we, the three of us, slowly walk here. up toward the door. You sure this is the place? Aw, are you scared? Don't be so wimpy. I thought you were a cop. That was a long time ago. I'm a driving instructor now. Ah, Dachi-san's just allergic to fancy restaurants, that's all. He's a man of basic tastes. It's true. I only ever go to fast food joints. Ugh, that's so gross. Also true. Right on time. But everyone's already inside. Waiting for you. Well, we weren't late, so you don't get an apology. And I wasn't expecting one. I just thought I'd let you know. Of course, now you're making them wait further. And who is them, by the way? You'll see. Go in, please. There's no need to worry, Kasuga-san. You have the Jungihan guarantee that no harm will come to you here. Hard to trust the guy who was pointing a gun at me just a few hours ago. Ah, but now we are outside the bounds of the Great Wall of Muscle. That changes things. Come in! That was Song Hui. Here we go. It's the uh, Yo, all three of the doing? leaders. Xiao. And. <sighs> hey, what's up with the old guy? Watch it. That's Ryuhei Hoshino, the Seiryu clan chairman. What? But if he's here, then that would mean they're... Yeah. The Aegean Three. All the leaders gathered in the same spot. Kasuga, think you can tell us what the hell is going on here? <sighs> that was certainly a surprise. Chapter 7. Alright. Bleached black. What? Please, step yeah, inside. Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, 
Aren't these three supposed to be fighting a war? Supposed to be. Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year, unless there's a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Liamang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. So then why are you two here? Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> <laughs> Not the worst idea. What the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile, you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Zhao's prisoner? <laughs> prisoner? We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't. That's all. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Just let the chips fall where they may? That's how it needs to be. A bunch more pointless deaths is how it needs to be? They're not pointless. Our men's willingness to fight is the entire reason we're able to serve as checks on each other. As long as the triangle remains balanced, it can hold firm against outside pressure. It's much like how Japan established separation of powers after the end of its dictatorship. It's not perfect, but it's the best solution we have. Do you see the logic there? Oh boy, a post-war history lesson. What? That's what you're comparing it to, right? Yes, because it's relevant. The post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Ijincho. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. Which war? But Which war are we talking clan, about here? Two rival Chinese gangs were competing for dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. The gang that lost became the Yokohama Liuman. World War II, okay. That's, of that's what I was thinking. But yeah, if it, if it was if it's World War II he's referring to, yeah, you're absolutely right. To take that Japan was devastated. Lying down. For a time, the gutters practically ran with Liu Mang and Seiryu blood. Man, you're gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor? You want to understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smartass. If you want to understand the fake money, that is. The Seiryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. But doesn't that mean the Seiryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mang brings in the paper. The Komi Jewel prints the bills. But then, the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait. Are you all in this together? Kasuga-kun, calm down. You're jumping to conclusions. Because I'm pissed off right now. First I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Ijing Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war. Tell me, why should I calm down? He's got a point. And you, with your damn Seiryu clan, you're the one getting the most out of this! No, because we're not the final destination of the fake yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Yutaka Ogikubo? I saw his name in an article. 
He's some big shot in the Citizens Liberal Party. All three of you are working together to support him politically? Why? Huh. Suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? <sighs> Fine. Get on with it. Ogi Kubo is the man who proposed making fake money in Ijincho. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seriu chairman and first Liumang boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For real? At the time, Ogi Kubo was only a member of the city council. But he saw the fights breaking out between the long-established Seriu clan and the newly arrived Liumang. He understood it was, in essence, a turf war. Knowing that, he looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed. Solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes... Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> but, 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 but politicians involved in organized crime is something that's true. That way, both organizations But the fact that it's politicians working with three criminal organizations that are supposedly rivals with each other and basically that politician being the glue that's more or less keeping all three of them at peace so to speak but since he had is definitely well actually definitely new it's somewhat of a new concept at least it seems to be to me at least it seems to be in this world the recipe counterfeiting was in the world like that currency didn't have all the security features it has now it's only gotten harder over the years but anyway, after the first batch was printed, Agi Kubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? Not the Seiryu clan or the Liumang? There would have been no point in paying off those two. That conflict goes deeper. Agi Kubo understood that. Okay, but why give it to the police? They wanted to control them, of course. And in the blink of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one. Given how corruptible law enforcement tends to be. Anyway, Ogikubo had his new minions in uniform crack down on one certain region of Ijincho. Well, that doesn't sound like such a bad thing. Yeah, he was making the city safer, right? Now that was just a side effect of what he really wanted. To squash every attempt by the Seiryu to drive out the Liuman. All police resources were dedicated to that one goal. It created a tiny pocket of Ijincho that was essentially violence-free. Well, I bet that worked out great for the Leo. Where does the Geo, where does the Geo oh, Meow the come sharp from? One, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liu Mang's home. So there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, but with low crime. The first gray zone and the Seiryu clan just accepted that hmm? why would they give up their territory and all its income streams like that because they were getting continuous payouts from the counterfeiting operation and that wasn't the only thing anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water Ogi Kubo would contain it he kept it off police reports that kept us from losing men to the law so there were plenty of benefits for us all while we kept our honor. This Ogi Kubo's a pretty shrewd guy. Nah. He just used some old tricks every politician knows. Oh. Well, perhaps. But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. In the 80s, the Komi Jewel was saved by the Ijincho Grey Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. The Korean Mafia. Even only sense. a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. But every time the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came, but then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomang. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in, right before a real war erupted. 
He brought us a proposal that we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could Again, this Oki guy is the one that's being the glue holding everybody return, together. We would perform holding the three necessary massive to crime system. syndicates together. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. It became our way to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho, alongside the Seiryu and Liomeng. So that's the origin story behind the Ijin 3. Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens' Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. After masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Well, there are worse ways to climb the ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed? What about the police themselves? What about their alliance with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's how we got where we are today. That he's got a point. You that can't got deny a point. the ends justify the means. Ah. Sometimes well, the ends do justify the means. What does it even matter what happened? Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Eugene Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? The inflation I think money causes? <laughs> Your friend Nambakun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. But he was reckless, digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Eugene Three. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. We must ensure his permanent silence. Why are you telling us this? You looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kasuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? I'd love to hear that. You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. It's gonna be Arakawa. But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me. Personally. We can't do that to Nanchan. Sure is tempting. Kasuga, but I'll pass. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. So we done here? You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. And that means the end of the Grey Zone. Yeah, that would suck. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives... If the Great the Wall zone, falls, the Omi Alliance, the Tojo clan will invade. Kasuga -kun. Uh, what? After you were shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Go ahead and act like you're above it all. But you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. What the hell? Whose assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. And stepping up in your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kasuga, I don't turn down attractive offers, but don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But uh, 
My men have gotten a little rough lately. You son of a bitch. Call him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. But aren't you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's ticking. Hey, we don't even know where to look. I may have an idea. Well, there you go. So, Kasuga, given all this, what will you do? I mean, guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins. All right. Let me change controllers real quick before it dies. I got a little bit more time before I got to wrap up. So we'll probably, uh, actually, you know what? Considering what time it is, and I'm pretty sure whatever's coming up next is going to be, uh, oh, but yeah, that's a good point. They, you know, they're going to be, if we, if they, if, even if they don't know where Nanba is or, you know, for whatever reason, they could point, they're going to point me in the right direction. They could point me in the right direction. Uh, thanks. They point me in like the general direction of where he's going to be, only to end up, when we actually find him, the assassins will be following us the whole way. You have a very good point there. All right, let me drop a save here. Uh, but I am going to wrap up because I think, I mean, as we've t figured out in this game so far, there's a, like a, long, a lot of long cut scenes and dialogues and stuff, and it's already 9 o'clock. Um, so I wouldn't want to get started in something and only be able to play for a few minutes before I had to call it out, so, call it a night. So we're going to wrap up here. Let me see if there's anybody on going to say hi to. Um, what do you say we find somebody playing something? Like, hmm. How about somebody playing some Elden Ring? Never mind, that stream is ending. All right, timing for that. Okay. So that's a no. All right. Um, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it tonight. As always, a special appreciation goes out to the men and women of the United States military, both at home and overseas, as well as police officers and firefighters across the country. Thank you for your service and sacrifice. You're all true heroes. Hope you all enjoyed that stream. I do apologize for it, like, breaking up, like, halfway through or whatever. Um, I will be back on Tuesday night, 5.30 p.m. Central Time, U.S. Central Time, where we will resume our journey in Yakuza Like a Dragon. Until then, have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.